Welcome back to part 10 in this series of uh, videos on how to kick some serious ass playing uh, the crossroads thing. Okay, once again my name is Dave Whitney uh, and uh, if you check out my, my little page there, Devils in Heaven videos, you'll get to see some videos of what I looked like when I was young and beautiful and had hair and an ego the size of Nebraska. Um, and, uh, and things have changed since then. I'm uh, now 41 and living in Canada. Uh, I was in Australia with my band Devils in Heaven. I put that up there for the old fans. We had some great fans back in the day, and uh, and I just wanted to put those up there so we could all reminisce about those days when we were young and virile, and you know, uh, condoms weren't necessary. Anyway, so the most important thing is that we enjoy our playing, okay? Because you know, for me, playing was a real passion. I used to practice a minimum of 10 hours a day every single day, and it wasn't bullshit practice. It was scales, it was arpeggios, it was um, legato, it was uh, sweeping. It was all the technical aspects. Plus, I used to work on my melodic playing a lot, and uh, check out my, um, my little thing on my site there, uh, uh, you know, bet you can't play this, uh, you know, and have a look at the, the kind of melodic things I like to do. Uh, I was shredder back in the day, I used to love playing fast, I used to love the sweeping and all the stu and stuff, but uh, I grew up, and, um, and I don't play that much anymore. It's just my personal story because uh, I'm busy with a family, right? So I've, I've got a life. And uh, but you know, this thing I've been able to play this thing for a very, very long time. And uh, and so many students I've had over the years, or friends or whatever who play, um, have asked me how do you play this thing. So I'm just going to show you guys because I'm I'm a nice guy and it's the kind of thing I do. So anyway, so here we've gone through our little. Hit. Now I said it's most important that you switch. Oh, when you're playing the F sharp on the B string, that's the um, the uh, seventh fret on the on the B string, that you switch from playing it with your third finger to playing it with your second finger. So third finger switches to your second finger because you're going to come down and start doing this. Okay. So uh, what it is, right? Once you once you switch. To the uh, to the F sharp uh, with your second finger, you slide it down to an E, right? Which is a whole step down, so you're down to the fifth fret on the B string with your second finger. So we've got okay, that's where we are. Now we start this. Now what that is, right, is an E major arpeggio, right? And we're doing uh, B G sharp E. E. And uh, note for note, fret and all fingers and all the rest, it's like this. It's little finger on the seventh fret on the high E string, that is B, right? First finger on the fourth fret, G sharp on the high E string, right? Second finger, fifth fret on the B string, that is E, okay? And then you do open E on the high E string. Now, What's important is the pattern, right? Because this pattern stays the same. All we do is shift the position of our left hand. To play other arpeggios. So here we're starting with an E arpeggio. You've got what, darling? You've got a pip for me. My beautiful daughter has bought me an olive pip. You know, you see people, that is love. Do you want to, uh, do you want to come around this side and wave to the camera again? Because I just, I just know how much you hate the camera. Oh, she's gone. Anyway, thank you for the olive pip. It was, was a very nice thought. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yep. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Excellent. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> unbelievable this series of videos. So, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm playing an E arpeggio here. Uh, and let's look at the E note. Let's let's focus on the note I'm playing with my second finger on the B string. That's E. I'm going to then change it to a B. I'm going to move it up so my second finger is on the 12th fret, right, on the B string. And I'm going to play that same thing and finish with that open E string. Then I'm going to move it up and I'm going to play the thing with uh, the um, 15th fret with my second finger on the B string, which is the, the D. So you can hear what I'm doing. And then we go to the 10th fret, which is the G uh, on the B string. So that's what we're doing, right? 
goes through those those four arpeggios E, B, D, and G. E, B, D, G. Okay, that's what it's doing. And then it goes up, um, sorry, and it does E octaves. So E being the um, being the 17th fret on the B string, uh, and then down to the 5th fret, and do it again. So octaves, high octave, low octave, then we do um, D. So that would be the 15th fret up high, and the 3rd fret down low. Now I'm talking of course about the, the note when I'm talking about the fret, the note that my 2nd finger is playing on the B string, because the shape is identical. I'm not changing the shape with my hand. It's staying the same all the time, right? I'm just shifting the position of it around on the guitar and playing exactly the same everything else, exactly the same pattern. I'm just placing my hand in a different location. So I've done the, uh, the, the E octaves. Oh, sorry. Right, then I'm going to go up to G. The G, here is the uh, 20th fret and the 8th fret. F, which is the uh, 18th fret and 6th fret. Do that twice, and then I'm going to begin my little um,